Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Hearts Farm 4 as we are playing as the Russian Republic in the Kaiserreich mod. So in the last episode, we declared war, finally, on Germany and their allies. And I would say things went pretty well for the first month. We made about, it was about exactly a month. I think we started it in early August and here we are at the end. So it went pretty slow and it's probably going to continue that way uh, since we're going to be manually controlling all our divisions. If you've never watched my, my Hoi 4 series, then you probably don't know that I do manually control most of my divisions. Every once in a while we'll leave a front up to the AI, but for the most part I control uh, the majority of the divisions uh, manually uh, because that's the way I prefer. And uh, my personal goal uh, in any Hoi 4 campaign is to try and get as few casualties as possible to have like the highest kill death ratio because frankly hard to find four is you know uh, when you play against the ai it is you know a lot easier than if you're to play against a player and so that's kind of my personal goal to give myself a little bit more of a challenge is try and make sure that i have as, as little casualties as i can or, or at least uh the best kill death ratio that i can get uh, so that's kind of a personal goal and you just won't ever achieve that if you let the ai control the divisions because the ai is uh, pretty cruddy uh, they make really bad decisions overall. Uh, and I know that I always have people in these series that disagree with me and say, oh, the AI is fantastic. I'm not going to argue with you. Uh, <laughs> there is some significant evidence that the AI is garbage. Uh, and I'm not going to, I've already had this argument so many times in the comments of all the, the many problems they have, you know, whether it comes, you know, to them attacking across rivers, because uh, they don't have any, uh, they don't even consider rivers at all, or it's attacking into mountains, or, you know, even when you don't have to attack into mountains, there's easily, you can go around them, and they'll throw their entire army into an attack on the mountains. They don't care about attrition. I mean, the AI is just pretty, uh, pretty bad. Uh, they make a lot of mistakes. Let's go get started in today's episode. I've already set this all up. Uh, we've got this already done from the previous episode. I was just seeing if we had anything left to, to do here. We might want to take a look at infrastructure in the front line region, see if there's any that needs to be improved. Five's pretty good. Uh, that's good enough, I'd say. Uh, so I don't think we need to improve the infrastructure at all. Uh, we already have the radar coverage here, but we could use getting more synthetic refineries. We have one building, uh, but I don't think that'll be quite enough. So let's go and build one more. Uh, so that's good. Let's go and take this down here to the bottom. And then the other thing we might want to get, I don't know if we're going to need these, is uh, some land forts across here. Now there's already quite a few land forts along this region, so we don't really have to build all that higher. And we do have the river, but you know what? Let's just make sure that this is as secure as the rest of the front is. So we're going to build these all the way up to level 5. I, we just don't want any weak points here. And we're going to take those up to the very top as well, so they're prioritized, because if they attack across this region, then that won't be happening. Uh, so I've got everybody assigned except for the Blue Army. And um, that's because the, the Blue Army has to stay here until the rest of the Red Army gets to this front. Uh, but the ones that are already out here, they could be moved to a different front. We have uh, at least a few of them here, seven divisions, uh, that we can start moving down to this front. Uh, so let's go ahead and move them now. And you also notice the yellow army is now on a regular front line. The pink army that was in Finland is now coming down here to help us out. And then the green army also needs to be given a regular front line. So let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, we do have to have them cover this one province right here until the red army moves down. That's okay though. And we'll keep those two divisions there. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Let's make sure that, yeah, 28 divisions here. And we'll keep these two here and not have this uh, covering that province there because remember they try and send three there which kind of messes the front up a little bit all right so we just need to get all our troops moved we have already have our planes moved as well i've got them here in ukraine kind of help us out uh, for our offensive that we'll be launching soon and we we can't compete here there's too many troops uh too many any troops there uh, as for the submarines i went ahead and made some adjustments here and i did mess up because i forgot that we were building the large submarine holes so this is not exactly how I wanted it, so I'm making some adjustments. As you guys will notice, it's, you know, obviously not uh, uh, not not the way it looked before. Uh, so we just need to change it up a little bit. I did move to the task force up here to cover this. We're just going to try and stop naval invasions from happening, guys, because I don't want to block the... I don't want to guard against the ports here. Oh, shit, you know what? Uh, we haven't dealt with this shit yet. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to bring some more troops, make sure this gets done. Now I think that one will likely be able to do it himself, but just in case he can't. We'll bring these other ones over there as well. 
All right, excellent. So everybody getting moved to their new locations. Uh, is the Red Army secure here? Not quite yet, so we're going to wait just a little bit. Though what we could do is go ahead and move another division down here. Uh, we do need to keep these guys pushing forward, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, make sure we're always moving with our troops here. And, yeah, these guys can go wherever. It doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and take care of that province there. All right, so I do need to, to keep my eye on this this frontier. Uh, we do have some free dockyards, which we'll just put into the submarines. Really just focus in on the submarines, guys. We don't really have any uh, good surface ships right now, so... Yeah, there's really no reason for us to... Let's bring these guys over here. Uh, so yeah, no reason to try and build any of them, because all of our designs are pretty cruddy. Did sink a convoy there. Uh, also, we're having some import problems. Let's just take a look and see what this is referring to. The oil from Romania. Okay, uh, so I thought that might end up becoming a problem here. I have a little bit, so I guess we can trade for two. And we're still in the positive, we're going up. Alright, excellent. Okay, uh, so they still haven't attacked along the fortified line, they have no interest on in doing so. Uh, we are in fact actually losing here on this attack, so we might as well just pull it back. We have more troops coming over here. Uh, I don't know if they'll get here in time, they probably should take the railroad if they have want to have any hope of getting here. I guess they're not that far away. I suppose we'll just wait. I'm not entirely sure what this guy here is doing. They're supposed to be moving over there, but they're not. Sometimes they have. They're just... It just doesn't work. So you gotta force them over here. Yeah, we might actually have to stop and then move them over here. Why, can they not go through here? Yeah, maybe that's what the problem is. Yeah, they can't get through there. Alright, so that's unfortunate. Again, we'll have to probably set up our submarines to build over here. Yeah, because you just can't get through through here. I thought submarines could get through the Danish belts, uh, even when they're they're aggressive, but apparently that's not the case. So we can't get through there. So in that case, we're just going to move these both back up to here. There's no, really no reason to have them down there. Uh, so let's go ahead and have them set up to do the convoy raiding again. And then we'll go ahead and change this up just a little bit. I'm trying to add these ones here, but they're all in battle right now. We can add these guys, though. All right. Excellent. So... Just getting all of our troops moved around. Uh, the, the Blue Army, once the Red Army is secure here, uh, they're going to be moving to a, an additional location. Again, to try and cut off here. And I keep forgetting I'm supposed to be fucking controlling these divisions. My bad, guys. Yeah, we need to be getting this done. Pushing forward here. Yeah, I keep forgetting that we have an offensive going right now. Alright, let's take a look what happened here. Sunk a convoy. And probably sunk another convoy here. Yes, sir. Uh, those are our naval bombers. So they're doing well. But yeah, I keep getting distracted. I'm looking at shit here that's just not that important comparatively uh, to, the, to the situation down here where we need to make sure our troops are always moving forward. Alright, so we're going to be attacking over that way. They are moving some troops here ever so slowly, but yeah, it's just not just not quick enough. Alright, let's go ahead and push forward here. Uh, they are attacking us there. That's okay. Remember, we have the blue army coming up here. Actually, let's go this way and this way. We'll cut that division off there. And so, yeah, we just gotta wait for the Blue Army to get their butts on over here. And do we have the front secure yet? Not quite yet. But you know what? It's good enough. Let's go ahead and, and get these guys moving now. Uh, let's get the rest of the Blue Army moving to their uh, attack. Uh, their attack areas. I almost want to just put the entire Blue Army down here. Uh, we do need somebody to help out here, though. Uh, yeah. So what I'm thinking is that this will be the cutoff point right here, guys. I'm be a little bit more ambitious than I initially said I would be. Uh, we are going to attack right here. Uh, that's why I put the pink army here, so that they can support this attack attempt. Uh, so yeah, we'll go up along here, and you know what? Let's really focus this blue army in just these two provinces here. So I'm going to move them all over there. We're, we're going to reduce their numbers, of course. We don't need 15 here. Uh, some of them need to go down south. We do want to take a look and see how many of each of these we have in each area. So it does seem that the medium tanks are going to need to move down down south there. We need a bit more on the medium tanks. So yeah, let's go to move two of these guys down here. And that gets us up to, I think, oh, it's only 10. Okay, so we actually need a bit more. Alright, let's go and move some light tanks as well then. That gets us up to 12. I'm thinking 14 down here and 10 up here should be good. Uh, so out of these, how many of these are light tanks and how many are medium tanks? Looks like we have a total of four medium tanks and one light tank. 
but we only have 11 divisions. Okay, so I see. So this is what we'll do. We'll just take one light tank and move them down here. All right, excellent. So they'll continue moving down here. Hopefully they're all taking the railroads so they can get here quickly. We could start pushing forward up along here, uh, though would we win? That's the question. We can see if we can win anywhere uh, up along this purple front to kind of close this in a little bit. Maybe, yeah, I don't know, guys. Maybe right here. We'll, we'll try. Let's go and attack with the mountain troops since they're a little bit better. And then we'll support with these guys and see if this here is a win. Looks like it is, just barely. All right, so we'll keep that attack going. Not likely to win anywhere else, though, guys. Yeah, I don't expect we'd win anywhere. Uh, we used to have these these divisions here, which could be moved elsewhere. Ah, uh, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so we won there. This guy needs to move across here. Uh, let's go ahead and attack right there as well. They might better get some of these troops cut off here. And we're going to attack these divisions here that are pretty easy to, to win uh, against. Let's go ahead and have this guy attack across here. All right, so they're having very good success here. They're being very slow with getting their troops over here. Again, we're accepting all non-aggression packs. We have no uh, plans on attacking the Entente. Did lose another submarine there. Okay. Sunk a convoy. Uh, no invasions that we're looking at right now, uh, so that's good. Uh, they just don't have control of the seas enough to even do the invasion. So this is what I was worried about, is we'd pull our troops back here, and then it would result in us losing because we don't have enough troops there. So what we might want to do... How many divisions here? We have eight to guard four provinces, so you really can't pull any of these guys back, can we? Can't get rid of this front here. Yeah, this is a, a little bit of a problem, this, this blue army trying to retreat here. Need to have the entire army retreating, get back. Because, yeah, we're, we're doing a fight here where we have no organization. Okay. I almost feel like the red army needs to be reduced. And the green army would just have to cover that. Yeah. We need to get these guys over here, like, stat. Here's what we'll do. Let's rotate. Uh, let's do it this way. Have this guy go here, and then we're going to have one of these guys go over here. Just try and help out, make sure we don't lose Riga, because we are, in mere seconds, going to be losing it here. I said mere seconds, probably minutes. A lot of divisions attacking there. Uh, we did capture another Norwegian operative. They just won't stop, man. All right, so these guys are attempting to leave. I think they're coming over to this province here. It's going to keep on pushing forward here, guys. All right, and then we're going to attack right there. That'll result in this division here being surrounded. We're still winning here as well, so... Uh, might be able to get those two divisions cut off and, and surrounded as well. Take that non-aggression pact. Still not able to attack here just yet. We gotta get the blue army there, get their planning bonus up, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, we didn't do a planning bonus for the green army, so need to take care of that. There we go. All right, excellent. So we'll start ticking that up. And we got another division coming over there to help out. We're gonna send one more over there. I don't know if we'll be able to get them over there in time. In fact... What we might want to do is have them go around the back here to make sure we get to Riga. Uh, and then we'll just have this guy retreat there if he can. He might not be able to. All right, excellent. So we have kind of balanced that out a little bit more. Uh, one thing I wanted to do here, so we had a name suggestion here uh, in the comments for our 40 wit divisions, uh, which... Uh, I believe this translates to Blade of the Czar, or something similar like that, and hopefully I spelled that right. Uh, so let's go ahead and rename them. And the other thing I wanted to do, uh, or a couple things. First of all, we're going to build we're gonna build out some more tank divisions, or at least one more. Yeah, it seems that we're, we're still short certain types of equipment, so we'll just build one more out there. Uh, but what we do need to do is change up, and I'm looking for them here, I can't find them. Here we go. Uh, we're going to change up the uh, garrison division to get a military police, make use of those research that so let's let's utilize them that will require support equipment for our garrison divisions so that's could cause some shortages on that uh in that area but it overall should result in less equipment being needed needed and less manpower being needed so we got that taken care of uh and the other thing the last thing we're gonna do here and we do need to name these guys it'll update itself i'm not gonna mess with it uh so the last thing we need to do is I wanted to go ahead and start changing a few more of these guys up uh, to the uh, the 40 width division design. We'll do like yeah, we'll do five more. 
And hopefully that doesn't exhaust us at all. Uh, Anti-tanks is going to be a problem, but uh, we really just need to build more anti-tanks. That's okay. So we're going to build five more out, guys. All right, excellent. So yeah, they're still not attacking along the front here, with the exception of you know the new area that we just conquered, because there's no high-level forts there. So they know that they can kind of take advantage of that opportunity. Can't really add any submarines into these just yet. Uh, I don't know if we can win here, but it would help if we had a planet bonus. So let's go ahead and take care of that. And get these guys a planet bonus too, just in case we decide to tank with them. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to win here. Uh, it's, it's very high numbers. So I don't expect to, to win. Uh, the Germans do have carriers. Interesting. Alright, so bringing more troops here, I think that this should uh, result in us winning those defenses we're already winning. I did keep leaving this here because I'm so concentrated on that front up there. Uh, while we could be advancing further on this one, so we really should. Uh, we are going to lose that battle. Uh, it's not really surprising. There's a German divisions there. Uh, so let's go ahead and attack here. Easy, uh, easy win there. Uh, they're coming across this way, but just going to let them. That's fine. We're still waiting on more troops here. Uh, let's go ahead and have this guy move over. Actually, let's have... Hmm. I don't think he'll get there in time. Nah, he's not going to get in there in time. So let's go this way instead, and then we'll attack up that way. He's going to come up to this province here. Help us on that defense. Alright, lost another submarine there, unfortunately. Alright. So yeah, we need to concentrate on this damn front, guys. I keep getting distracted, and we need to be making sure that we're always advancing uh, while we can. Uh, so we could easily close this off. Um, yeah, I kind of want to just want to race up to Kiev, so I think that's what we're going to do. But yeah, it would be nice to get all this taken care of. It's a less of a front that we'd have to have to, to manage. Uh, we are about to get our first tanks over here, so that'll be really helpful. Yeah, that'll be super helpful. Uh, and it sucks we, we lost that first attack there. Yeah, not really surprising uh, that we lost against those German divisions. Let's go and go here now. I don't know if we could beat this guy. Uh, probably. One day and eight hours compared to... Yeah, we can beat him there. All right, excellent. So we'll go there. Let's go and attack these guys here. And yeah, I don't think that this is going to work out. So let's just go this way. After we, we finish up on that defense. Just try and close this off here. And let's go and attack these guys. We're not trying to get cut off here. We're trying to cut them off. Let's go and wrap up that province as well. And I feel like this purple army is never going to have enough divisions here to help. So I almost want to have them move over this way. So we start... Uh, yeah, you know what? I think we will. Let's go and take a couple divisions and have them move over to this front here. Though these are like the exact same color. So it's impossible to tell which one's which. Is it this one? No, it wasn't. Of course it wasn't. There we go. All right, so yeah, we're going to move them over to that front. And I, I suppose we'll also move one of these mountain troops over there. They can go uh, help us out. All right, so looking good there. Let's take a look at what we lost here. Another two submarines, man. We're taking some losses on the sea, guys. They really are prioritizing this area now, so that's unfortunate. Uh, let's see if we have any more subs to... Yeah, we don't really have... We'll just have to combine these two, I think. Although, I think we actually have some here that I'd like to pull out. Yeah, we do. All right, so just trying to change that up since I didn't realize that we had uh, uh, three different types of, of submarines. Uh, that was my bad. I didn't, I didn't even remember that. Could attack here. We'd probably lose. Let's wait until we get the, the planning bonus up, guys. I know that we need to take the pressure off this front a bit. Let's go there. Uh, we did, um, we are losing there. We do have him cut off, though. Let's go and attack this way. And, you know, let's go and also attack that guy. Uh, nope, that's not gonna work. Alright, so we'll stop that. Probably not gonna be able to win across the river. No, we cannot win across the river. So we'll have to move him over this way instead. Now we got Ace Pilot promoted. Excellent. Who dares win? And, man, yeah, we are taking some submarine losses here, guys. Yeah, that's a bummer. Again, not really much to be done about it there. So they are trying to move here. Uh, let's see if we can't get the win here. Just until we can get this. Let's go and actually attempt to, to move here and defend. Alright, not really seeing much that we can do as far as launching attacks across here. Not until the pink army gets over here and gets their organization back up. Uh, we'll be a little bit limited there. Uh, are they attacking us along here? They are not. Alright, interesting. And they are losing those, those attacks across the river. Alright, very good to see. Let's go and attack over, you know, actually let's just go across the river here. 
I'm gonna see if he can get across with the wind. He would not be able to. Okay, so we'll just have to wait. And we got more military factories. Excellent. So let's go ahead and get these assigned. I suppose we'll see what we need the most of. Obviously the medium stuff is always needed. I feel like the support equipment, yeah, it's not doing great. Same here with the anti-tanks. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. Let's move up to here and put some into, no, some into the anti-tanks here. And maybe some into the support equipment as well. And that does result in us needing more tungsten. Okay, let's continue trading with Siam. And yeah, we'll take a look and see what happened over here. Did sink a convoy there. I don't know if we'll be able to maintain control of the Baltic Sea, guys, to stop the invasions because of how many submarines we have been losing. Uh, now, we can get another submarine line building once we finish these guys up here. Uh, I'm just trying to get the, the Black Sea Force built up a little bit higher before we, we do that. All right, so again, just kind of slow moving here, and that's okay. Uh, we are getting tanks uh, up onto this front, so that is fantastic news. They are here. To help us out. Might need to redraw the offensive lines as well. And we're losing there, but that's okay. We're going to keep it going. Just need to get these guys cut off here. Uh, we don't quite have enough divisions to cover our entire front, as you can see. So we are having some difficulties there. Let's go ahead and attempt to, to get the win here. We'll see if we can't get around them. This is going to be kind of uh, difficult, I think. Uh, that one's clearly not going to work, so we'll go ahead and stop that. We'll keep this attack going. Actually, you know what? Let's go here. Uh, that would be a win. Actually, you know what? Maybe we can win now. We'll have to see, guys. We'll have these guys go uh, support that attack. And I'll have this guy go here. You should get there before him. All right, so I think we're just about ready to go ahead and launch this attack. You can see that they are taking attrition here, guys. Uh, how are our planning bonuses looking? Not quite there. Maybe we should wait until we get them all the way up. Yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait, guys. We got time. All right, so he is attempting to cut us off. Uh, let's go ahead and attack him here. Yeah, just trying to cut off divisions where we can. And, you know, what? let's even support across this, this river here. That'll cut off that division there. Uh, how are we doing in the skies? All right, that is not as good as I would like it to be. Uh, let's go and move the, the planes that we have here and have some move over to this air base to help us out here. I'm gonna do more ground crews there as well. Okay, we also have uh, another area here we can move to. So we'll do that and move, maybe move a, a few of the planes that we have up here. We have any close air support? Yeah, we'll move these two down here. We'll have a little bit better coverage there. Okay, just trying to make sure we maintain control of both of those zones, or at least compete in both of those air zones. I'll grab that province. You know what, actually, I really want this tank. I mean, we need a tank division to come take care of this territory for us. So we don't have to defend it. Uh, it'll reduce the size of the front. Did sink a convoy there. Now, is it their uh, planes that are causing this trouble? So far, I haven't really seen much in regards to, like, you know, enemy naval bombers causing issues. All right, yeah, this front looks secure now. I don't think they're going to get through there, guys. We should be able to get those forts built, too, if we can just stop them from attacking us for a little while. All right, so they're attacking there. We're still attacking here and failing miserably. So we're going to stop that. Not seeing any other possible attacks just yet. We're going to have to wait. Again, we got to be patient. Got to be patient, guys. All right, so we took in that province here. Haven't quite cut these guys off yet. Let's go and move up this way so he's at least doing something. This guy will go over here. And yeah, that light tank will hopefully wrap all this territory up for us very quickly. Let's bring this guy over here. So he's going to push forward here where there's no troops defending. And let's go this way. Uh, slowly getting to Kiev. Uh, let's go ahead and start the offensive up here, guys. It's, it's good enough. Uh, we're going to pull the green army out. I know those are the better divisions, but yeah, we're not going to use those ones for this purpose here. We need them to remain there for defense. All right, so it does look like we will win, despite these being very large uh, armies here that we're fighting against. It is kind of low, though, so we'll see if that continues up or if we end up losing it. Eventually, they're going to have to pull the divisions back to come help out here, you would think. Uh, but so far, that hasn't been the case. They don't really have a lot of divisions here defending, and it's really only the Ukrainians that are at all interested in defending this territory, which is surprising. Okay, so he's not going to win there. Let's instead go here, maybe? Yeah, who would win there? Right, excellent. Let's go and go across the river. I know that's not great, but yeah, I'm just trying to get th that done. 
this attack isn't going well either. Can we beat this division here? He gets there in 23 hours. Let's just go here then. You just need to get these troops all up on to this frontier. Oh, damn, they got somebody there. All right, so let's try and go this way then. All right, so yeah, uh, we've gotten tanks onto the front. Let's see if we can't get this territory wrapped up here. Taking those air bases will be super helpful. All right, so he's going that way. Just trying to make sure that we always have divisions attacking at all times. All right, yeah, having some trouble there. Uh, let's go ahead and attack here. Yeah, just trying to help out on the defense there. And again, the yellow army is just too weak to, to attack anywhere, I think. So we did win here, excellent. Uh, so now we just need to get these guys continuing pushing forward. Uh, we want to go ahead and reduce the blue army front, like so. Same thing with the pink army here. And then let's have them all attack here. And the pink army will have to hold that province for us. That's really their purpose here. We would accept that non-aggression pact. And again, let's just take a look and see how we're doing. we got to keep our eye on the, uh, the submarine situation. Uh, we did sink a destroyer with our naval bombers. All right, that's the first uh, surface ship, I believe, that we've sunk in the conflict. In fact, that's probably the first warship that we've sunk in the conflict. So let me see if there's any uh, anything we can do here. I don't think so. I think we're still waiting for... Yeah, we're still waiting uh, for some of these, these guys to get out of battle for right now. Now, these guys are here, so they can go straight into this one. And then I think that's enough for us to, to now operate in the Black Sea. Uh, just two is, is enough. We'll want to build more. Oops. Uh, but two will be enough to, to put them out there. We'll see how they do. Uh, we do have naval bombers already, and they haven't had any success bombing anybody, so I'm, I imagine that there's just nobody there. All right, so we're going here. Let's go ahead and have this guy push forward here. And let's go after that one. Maybe we can, well, hmm. He's going that way, so let's have this guy go this way then. Trying to keep him from bringing troops over here, but not having much success with that, guys. All right, we do have a tank division here not fighting, so let's fix that. Let's have him attack that guy. We can maybe get to Kiev that way. Uh, still trying to get around here. Uh, that one's been a lot tougher than expected. All right, so let's go ahead and continue pushing forward here, just trying to connect this. Oops. Pulled that guy back, I didn't mean to do that, my bad. And, and this one's been a little bit more challenging than I anticipated as well. Let's go ahead and help with the green army there. See if they can't, uh, you know, toss the uh, toss it over into our favor. Let's go and grab Kiev. Uh, they might not make it there before them, but we should be able to. Yeah, all right, so Kiev will be here, will be ours in mere moments. Now let's go and take this province. Uh, they, they are starting to take back some of the provinces that we've, we've taken here, but that's okay. That's okay, guys. Uh, so this is gonna be a loss, it's fine. Um, Looks like we did win there. Excellent. Let's go ahead and attack again. I'm trying with these guys, see if they have some success. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, still attacking that way. Let's go ahead and send this tank in now that he's not so tired. And we have finished up with the uh, the defense here, so that's the main reason why we had that division there. Still trying to get these guys cut off. Haven't had any uh, good points yet to do it. So far, none of these divisions are cut off just yet, despite everything that we've done here. Uh, they are not yet cut off from supply. Uh, how are we doing on the defense here? Not great. Okay. We'll keep them here uh, temporarily, but we might have to retreat to that province there. And if that's the case, that's fine. I mean, this is a very vulnerable position. We don't even have any forts or anything like that. If they want to focus on that, then let them focus on it, man. I don't care. It's a stupid uh, thing for them to focus on, honestly. All right, let's go and move over this way. Actually, let's go ahead and go to this province here. So yeah, they're just making some strange moves, honestly. I'm not entirely sure what they're doing. Now, we need to get that port, of course. Let's see if we can't grab, you know what, let's grab that airbase. Can we beat this guy here? Because I've cut off these two sides. Yeah, we can. All right, so we'll go ahead and do that. This division's now cut off, uh, so let's, well, we're gonna have to wait. Let's attack with this guy. There we go, beautiful. All right, so he's going up that way, he's going this way. Just again, making sure that we're always attacking up along the front line. Uh, we did get another military factory. We'll make sure we get these assigned immediately. There's so much stuff that we need. I am looking at the things that we're losing uh, the most, uh, the quickest. So far, we're doing pretty good on just about everything. 
I feel like the anti tanks are still we're still building those a little bit too slow, so we're gonna put one more factory into that. Oh, we actually have more factories I thought, probably from taking Kiev. Yeah, looks like we took Kiev, so these are the factories that we're getting from there. All right, well let's go and place it into the support equipment, and you know what? We really need to start replacing these these fighter losses that we're we're probably taking in the skies right now. Uh, as far as how we're doing in the skies, uh, we do control there, but not here. Okay, and of course they have the control of the skies uh, in that region, which we'd expect. They had an insane number of planes there. Okay, so this here is just about done. Looks like we did win there. We got our engineer company threes. Excellent. So let's hire entrenchment plus we got the research done for that. Yeah, let's get the better mechanized for our tank divisions, guys. So with that, and then with the infantry uh, equipment, we'll have uh, one slot available here. Uh, let's go with if we need anything here. We do. Uh, let's go with the better anti-air, guys. Let me just make sure there's nothing else that we need. That I'm forgetting about. If we've gotten this already, we do need the better radar. And we might be able to build that. You know what? Let's go and get that. We have a research bonus. It's 44 days away. Uh, so we need to update infantry equipment. Let's go ahead and do that. It's going to really tank our uh, production efficiency, of course. They are trying to advance here, which is, in fact, a good thing. We want them to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this province real quick, and then we'll uh, react to that here in a little bit. Okay, so let's go ahead and push forward here. I know there's like a lot of time like being wasted because I'm not... Uh, you know, not being quite as efficient as, as we'd want to be, but still, uh, again, I, I feel like we're more efficient than if we were to put this under AI control. So this is going to stretch out the Green Army quite a bit, so I'm a little bit worried about that. You know what, we're going to have to stretch. The Red Army's just got to cover more. This is going to have to do more. Sorry, guys. you got to make it happen. And then the Pink Army, they're the ones that really need to be helping us out in this area, and they're not. Yeah, okay. Well, let's see if we can't have them start attacking anywhere over here, just to try and reduce the pressure on the divisions here. So we're going to see if we can get some wins. Uh, you'd assume that we would get some wins on some of these attacks here. Just kind of reduce the size of the front a bit. Yeah, okay, that looks good. That's a win. It's going to attack here as well. Looks like that would be a, a victory. Alright, we will attack here. And just looking for other good places. Right here would be a nice location to attack. I don't know if we'll be able to win there, but we'll try. Looks like that would be a victory as well. Excellent. All right, and then we'll attack here as well. Support with that guy. All right, excellent. Uh, and this purple army here, just not a lot we can do, but you know what we can do? We can attack right here. All right, excellent. So we've taken Kiev, uh, but we still haven't quite cut them off just yet. We need to get this here done and are having some difficulty doing that. Let's go and get these divisions pushing, continuing push forward there. And is there anything he can do? He can attack here and let's go ahead and have this guy attack that way. Alright, they're trying to escape here. They know that this is, uh, they're about to be bottled up here. Let's go and push forward here. All right, so this here is now, yeah, we got to get this dealt with, guys. Just going to send all of them in uh, to really take care of that. Push forward here since this tank division, okay, he's already reached his point. All right, so we got to cut this off here. Uh, so this right here will cut off any more divisions from retreating. I'm surprised just how badly this offensive has gone. It's just been taking forever uh, to get anything done there. Now, the front here is going to be really messed up now. Uh, yeah, it's going to be an uh, absolute disaster at this point. So we're going to have to fix this. Yeah, these guys are going to be all messed up. So I'm push forward here, and let's just make sure these divisions are all staying here. Now that guy can leave, I suppose. This guy's going to stay here, though. All right. Looking good, guys. Looking good. So I don't know if we'll be able to win there. We're going to try. Yeah, see if we can't get a win there now. Cut those two divisions off. And let's go and continue pushing up this way. And let's go and push up here. And I don't know where this guy's going, but stay here, please. Oh, nope. Attack right there. And you attack over this way. Just trying to wrap up some of this. Uh, this guy here being cut off would cut off all these guys. Uh, let's see if we can't win there. We, uh, maybe. It's yellow. We'll keep it going. 
So we need to get this one here finished up. That'll be helpful. It's kind of just a, a little bit of a mess over there. Sunk another destroyer. Right, excellent. Now uh, we'll take a look, see if we have any submarines done or just ready to be uh, adjusted. Yeah, this one's good to go. Uh, this one needs to be adjusted. Place these guys into this one here, and then we'll move them into there. Just trying to get them so they all have the same uh, type of submarines. If you're wondering what I'm doing here, because I don't think I made that clear. I'm trying to make it so they, they are all using the same type of submarines. And so these two will go over to, we'll have one go over to here, and the other go over to here. All right, so that looks good, I think. Yeah, I we'll think come back and, and take a look and see how how things are uh, going with those adjustments. All right, uh, so again, just kind of really slow here, really slow going. This guy has advanced, excellent. He's gonna keep on pushing forward here. We're gonna try and get a win there. No, that's cross river. Never mind. Let's go here then instead. Try and connect with that division there. Let's have this guy come on over to this front. I don't think we need any more uh, tanks for that objective. Let's have him take care of that for us. See if we can't get here, and this guy's trying to leave as well, so let's go ahead and bring him up this way. We'll see if there's any more attacks we can do that might be successful, or stop any attacks that are clearly not going to work. Yeah, this one's gonna fail, so we'll stop it. Let them kind of get their organization back up. Let's go and try and attack with all these guys, see if that's a win. And maybe attack here as well. No, nah, that, won't, that won't work. All right, uh, so we're gonna try attacking from this front now. Keep this guy here. Yeah, definitely having some difficulty uh, right there. For whatever reason, there must be like a ton of troops there because uh, we were having so much trouble. Uh, we did win here, so these guys are now cut off. We just need the divisions to get this finished up. This guy's gonna kind of take care of all that for us. And he'll go over this way, I guess. All right, so he's going that way. We're defending there effectively, and looks like we got a, quite a few things here uh, to be taken care of. So we can now get a chief of navy or the ship designer. Neither one of these are really that important right now. We've already changed over on all of these. We could change away from the export focus, uh, so we don't have to trade for as many resources. And I think that's what we're gonna do. Like I like the factory output. Yeah, I guess you know what? We're not really trading for many resources. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll stay on export focus for the research bonus and the construction speed and the factory output. For right now, we'll stay on that. However, we did have a advisor uh, somewhere. I can find him here. Okay, here. Uh, the land fort construction speed. I don't think that's as necessary anymore. I think it is time to go ahead and adjust. There was a different guy that I wanted here. I'm trying to figure out which one it is. I think it's the school maneuver. This is the one we want right here. So let's go and change this up and get this guy because he is fantastic. And that's what we're going to use that political power for. We don't need to build the forts super fast anymore. Now we do have military factories. Well, let's go and glance at this real quick. Uh, the infantry equipment, you know what? Let's go in and get, we're, we're trying to update that infantry equipment. So it'd be good if we are able to get some of that done. I'm surprised this guy here. Okay, there we go. I was about to say, surprised that he's losing there. Turn that around. Uh, let's go and have these guys attack up this way and them attack up this way. All right, so we won there, so that's fantastic. Somebody needs to take care of that for us. We'll have that guy do it. Let's go and push forward here while there's nobody there to stop us. Uh, looks like we finally won there. It took us long enough. We'll bring these guys up here. I'm about to win there as well. Just looking for other areas where we might be able to attack. Okay, like here looks like a good spot. So let's go and send these guys in here and these guys in here. And you know what? One of these weak divisions can just stay right here. So those should both be victories, excellent. And let's go ahead and take these two and put them on that green front. This is no longer necessary. And overall, it looks like the all the fronts are, are kind of messed up. Yeah, I mean, everything's messed up right now because of us having them completely surrounded. So really, we just need to get this finished up here, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and change up where we got these planes assigned. Need more, uh, excuse me, where we got those factories assigned, we need, we need more planes. All right, so everything still looks good here. Just gonna have this guy take care of that province for us. Actually, he's gonna go that way. So we need to get this wrapped up, guys. There's a lot of divisions here that are currently cut off on supply. Let's try and attack in there. I know we lost the last time, but we'll try again. And maybe take uh, one of these divisions here if they have the organization. Kind of help us out. 
So these guys haven't quite ran out of supply. I don't know if it's because they have enough local supply. I mean, to get the advanced special forces. It just sucks when I got all this stuff we got to take care of. And, like, all I want to do is, is uh, focus on the conflict. Uh, let's go get this one. Now, I just want to focus on the war and, and advancing. And instead, we're over here, like, messing with... Uh, messing with this other stuff. Uh, so I don't think we'll need much to destroy those. That should be enough. Uh, can we go here? We can. All right, so with the wind there and the wind there, should cut off those divisions there. We have one here as well. Just looking to see if there's anywhere we're not attacking where we should be. Not really. Don't want to send everybody in. We do want to make sure that uh, keep some of their organization up and, and don't lose any of those forts. Because even if they take them, we'll destroy them. But the point is, is that then you got to fight them in the fort that you built. And so that's obviously not desirable. So yeah, we don't want to lose any of our fortified provinces. Uh, so we really need to focus on getting the win here. Can we attack from this province? We cannot. So we'll attack from this province and see if this is the win. It's going to be a tough fight regardless. Let's go and attack with these guys as well. Just try and get that done a little bit quicker there. Uh, this one looks like it's just about done. Let's go and attack across here. Looking for other areas where we might be able to attack. Maybe here. Let's see if that's a win. Ah, uh, no. What if we send in these guys here? Even that would not be a win. Okay. So yeah, we just got like pockets upon pockets of, of uh, areas here. Let's go and attack up this way. We're going to send this guy in to help. And then hopefully... You know, actually this guy's clearly not going to win here. So let's move over here so they can't reconnect him. And then we'll have him go like that. All right, we'll take a look at these uh, naval battles here. Lost another submarine. Okay. And, you know, sinking some convoys here. Uh, let's just take a look and see what we got going over here. See if there's any adjustments I can make just yet. No. All right, but that's fine. Okay, so they stopped attacking us all across this front. Clearly, they can't defeat us there, or they're just so distracted with this situation here. And I thought we had already dealt with this. Apparently not. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. A lot of undefended territory across the front, and overall, just the, the whole front line is just kind of messed up. But I'm not willing to, to attempt to fix it right now. And Ukraine just capitulated. All right. Because that's what I was waiting on. Once Ukraine capitulates, then that makes it a lot easier. There's territory we don't even have to, to take. It's just the ones that have uh, non-Ukrainian divisions in, which does look like a lot of them. A lot of the provinces had non-Ukrainian divisions, more than I was thinking. Okay, well, that's fine. Let's go and just get these attacks going, guys. Just trying to get this finished up here. And you know what? We're going to have this guy come over here. Hopefully his organization will be up by the time he gets over there. All right, so we got all these guys just ready to get destroyed here. Just gonna make that happen. And you guys are gonna tank up that way as well. Yeah, just try and get some of these uh, pockets uh, finished up and uh, destroyed here. Remember, these guys are all cut off in supply. So it'll be a lot easier than it normally would. Yeah, I can't really attack there with just one division's not enough. Yeah, but it's just kind of a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you get this many troops cut off, it is going to be an absolute mess. It's not surprising. Just seeing if there's anything else we can do here. What happened here? Oh, this is not a pocket. Okay, yeah, that's right. This is not a pocket because, yeah, I didn't even consider that fact. We're going to have to make some adjustments to the front lines, uh, but I want to get these pockets done first. Yeah, I, I just didn't even realize that uh, they were right here. Their border's right here, so yeah, that's those troops were not cut off from supply as I thought they were. All right, well, whatever. Overall, we want to make sure we don't have any troops here. Uh, but yeah, I'm not willing to fix the front, not while we have these pockets that need to get wrapped up, because that's going to change the, the situation completely. So yeah, I just want to get these, these done. All right, we can go and attack here and make sure that we... Well, no, looks like you can't. Yeah, it's just an absolute mess because, like, every army has fronts everywhere. We'll attack over that way. And this is the pocket that really needs to get finished up here. Because this is the one where they could potentially reconnect it. Get him going over that way. Him coming over this way. Actually, let's attack right there and see if that's a win. It is not. 
All right, so they are definitely attacking us as well. We're slowly getting these pockets wrapped up here. And a lot of these guys are too weak to to do our own attacks. Got to win this one here though. All right, beautiful. Okay, let's go and throw this guy in here as well. And let's attempt an attack up this way. We'll attack from two different ways here, see if they can't get it finished up. And these guys will attack as well. All right, so slowly getting all these damn pockets finished up, guys. Just taking a bit of time. We'll attack up this way. And it's just completely ugly. It's so bad, though, that I don't even want to mess with it. I'd rather just finish this up. And we'll attack with this guy here. And it is resulting in us losing territory here, though, so it is risky. And, and plus, we're having divisions that are, can potentially be cut off, so that's the, the real danger here. Is that you have situations like this, where this division here is going to cut us off here. And I don't think we can get out in time. No, we cannot. So yeah, that's a potential issue here. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure if we can stop this. Yeah, let's go here, and then that will result in this guy having time to get over there. We'll see if we can't win here. No, we cannot. All right, so we'll just stop that. There we go. So yeah, that's gonna cause some problems. Uh, if these divisions go into these places where they can be easily cut off. So I'd say that'd be the only real issue here that we have to be concerned about. Let's go and wrap that up, just kind of free up some divisions from having to fight there. Let's go and do this attack here. A lot of divisions, so we are losing there. That's okay. Again, just trying to get these pockets uh, wrapped up, and then when it is, we'll be ending the episode, and then I'll just, uh, figure out uh, the front lines off camera since we're gonna have to redraw a bunch of lines just kind of redo this overall okay just about done here as well got that pocket wrapped up so that's nice a lot of these guys here are defending right now let's go and send these guys in here all these guys should come on over to this way okay just about done here guys just a couple more uh it really, almost every pocket's now to the point where it's just one division in each one. Let's sign that non-aggression pack. Just make sure we're not losing anything over here. We're not paying attention. Make sure we don't have any naval invasions that we need to be aware of. We'll also peek at the uh, situations here. Did lose a naval bomber there. Okay. Uh, sunk another story. So we are starting to get some surface fleet, uh, some, some surface ships uh, sunk here and there. And looks like we also had something happen here. Convoy sunk one of their convoy, or excuse me, our submarine sunk one of their convoys. All right, uh, we only had one sub there, so that's unfortunate. Uh, I didn't see how he died. It must have been, yeah, I think it had to have been a uh, naval bomber, right? I don't know if he has any ships over there. All right, so yeah, definitely got some issues here, guys. This is quite ugly. We're about to be cut off in multiple areas. At the tack there, just to get this guy here. Yeah, this is just uh, terrible, man. So we'll try and get there. Hopefully, get there before these guys. 19 hours. He's being attacked. Do we beat this guy? We do. Okay, just make sure we don't get cut off here uh, while we have these uh, these fronts getting finished up. These pockets. It's the only last one here, guys. Here we go. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. All right. So all the pockets are wrapped up, and so now we're gonna have to completely readjust our lines and change them up. Get all these armies put up onto this front line here and uh, determine just how this is going to look. Uh, probably send some more troops up here to the north to help out where we're you know, having some difficulty uh, defending this, this territory that we took here. And so now the front is drastically reduced, guys. Uh, very, a much, much uh, smaller front line here. Uh, we will have enough divisions now to cover our ports, which I think is going to be necessary because, uh, you know, obviously uh, our submarines are losing in the sea. We're, we're getting many of them sunk. Uh, our submarine fleet is, is drastically reduced overall. Uh, so you can see that they, they could probably launch invasions here. Yeah, they could definitely launch invasions here. So we're going to want a little bit of our army just, you know, onto these ports here, you know, up here in the north as well as is, this is probably the main area. And, and maybe a couple down here uh, covering the ports this way. Just in case I miss uh, the planned naval invasion, uh, which I very well could miss it. They can still launch naval invasions from Bulgaria here, uh, so they might go about doing so. Uh, so we want to get at least a couple of these ports defended. Uh, the main ports, though, that I want to get defended are in this area here, you know, up on the, the Baltic. I think that's the, the main area where we could expect potential naval invasions. 
Uh, so yeah, we'll we'll get all the front lines advanced, uh, adjusted. Excuse me. Uh, there's a lot of troops uh, cut off and destroyed. Let's take a look just how bad it is. We'll also see how the Entente is doing, I suppose, here in England, which is where they're really focusing their conquest on right now. Uh, had several successful na naval invasions, and they almost have London in their hands, so that's big. They are being pushed out of France, though. Uh, it doesn't look like they'll uh, be there for much longer. Uh, as far as Brazil goes, Brazil's still not knocked, knocked out yet. They're definitely still in the conflict. Uh, Africa, you know, the, the Entente has the south. That's it. Look at Japan, see how they're doing. Germany still holds their, their colonies over here. They haven't been defeated just yet. All right, interesting. Well, let's go and take a look at the, the overall casualties. I imagine that they are going to be quite a bit more from the last episode. So we've taken 111,000 total casualties. Let's take a look and see how... So, so about 70,000 more than, than last episode. Almost 70,000. So let's take a look and see what we did to them. So the... Uh, Greater Austria, we killed 826,000. Good God. That is a lot, guys. Uh, so, yeah, 825,000 casualties compared to their 19,000. Wow. Uh, looking at Flanders, Wallonia, we killed 37,000 of them. Uh, 75,000 uh, Danes. Uh, of course, Finland, we already saw that. 86,000 casualties there. The English, uh, 16,000 casualties to the English. Uh, Germany. So this is going to be the big one here. We have killed 1 million Germans. They now have 2.72 million casualties. Might need to take a look at their manpower situation. Uh, the Scottish, we killed 18,000 Scots. Lithuania, 40, almost 49, or excuse me, almost 44,000. Ruthenia, 58,000. Uh, have we helped out here? No, we haven't really been fighting them, of course. They're in Asia. Uh, Ireland, we killed 226,000 Irish citizens. Uh, Poland, 369,000, Italy, 118,000, 15,000 Bulgarians, uh, looks like we've only killed, yeah, we only killed 1,000 of them, I, I'm guessing they were deployed elsewhere, which is, uh, probably why they didn't have enough troops to defend their territory, Ukraine, 242,000, the Cubans, uh, about 9,000, and have we fought Brazil at all? No. Okay, so, just... Absolutely insane kill-death ratio. If we were to take a look at how the Entente's doing, we'll just kind of scroll through here. United States, 1.32 million. Uh, how many casualties has Japan taken? 778,000, quite a bit. So Germany and their factions actually doing pretty good against the Entente and the co-prosperity sphere, I think, when it comes to casualties. But against us, they are just getting absolutely devastated. And uh, they're not looking so much uh, so powerful here on the Eastern Front anymore. Now, they do still have a lot of divisions here, uh, certainly more than us. Uh, but yeah, I think I think we're going to start pushing forward now, guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the, the last thing I want to see here is, is the current manpower situation for uh, Germany. So they are on old old serve, and they currently have 2.18 million manpower, so quite a bit. Uh, if we take a look at Austria, uh, only 74,000 manpower left. They're only on limited conscription, though, so they're not going to run out anytime soon. Uh, looking at Italy, 166,000 manpower. They're on service by requirement. Okay. Uh, so kind of see what, what they got left in manpower for these border countries here. Not a lot left, um, but they can change up their manpower laws. So let's see if that's what they end up doing. Uh, but yeah, this episode went pretty good. There's a lot of troops cut off and destroyed. It was I know it was an absolute mess, guys, but I didn't care enough to, to fix it. I figured we'd just wrap it up, and it worked out fine. Uh, we could have done it a little bit smoother, of course. But overall, yeah, I think this worked out nicely. Uh, so... Uh, we are trying to stop ourselves from being cut off here. Uh, it does look like we should be able to stop. Yeah, this is six hours here and 17 hours. So yeah, we'll, we'll not only stop him from cutting off this tank division, we will in fact be the one to cut him off because uh, he's we're about to take that province there. So he'll be cut off. But yeah, we just need to make adjustments to the entire front line and, and get all these divisions assigned. So I'll make that adjustment in between episodes when I record the next one. Uh, before we do so, just get all these uh, front lines fixed. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you guys on the next episode, which remember will be on Saturday. Alright guys, thanks for watching.